Hello guys and a happy new year to you all guys! Whoa! <laughs> 2018! We're finally here! Well, I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve because I definitely have uh, had a wonderful time with my family and uh, that's also a reason like why I couldn't really record the last uh, like the last days like through throughout the last couple days but it's okay now because we're right back in the game and yeah so first of all let me just load because uh, I'm not sure where I ended off I think um, right here right I think I did I think that's uh, I think this is the point where I left off. Let me just see. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it, this is definitely the part where I left off. Gonza! Tsumaki! Happy New Year! <laughs> to you too, <laughs> Thank you all so much, Shuichi. I wish you to a very new year. And you guys all too. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Sorry about my uh, goofiness a little bit because, uh, I, I kind of slept in a lot, uh, probably you guys did as well, and uh, but I really wanted to record and right now this is like, this is, I had to, like right now the first chance to record and I was like, I had to do this. Yo, I can't see anyone. Where are they? Okay, no, this, I, I didn't look at the map one time and I already got lost. This is just, this is just fantastic. I have good premonition towards myself. Yeah, but um. What I wanted to tell you is, um, I am so, so amazed, guys, by your wonderful support. Not just throughout the last year, especially because I really started off pretty, um, wait, let me put on the music a little bit because it's really into my ears. Alright, like this. This is just fine. Alright. Wow, this is like a very dark place to start off, to talk about a very happy thing, but <laughs> yeah, um, um, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I really started off pretty late with playing some games again in the last year, but I have so much support from you all, not just because of a playthrough, but in general, and I appreciate that a lot, guys. I, I really can't tell you how much I love you all because of your support, because of your wonderful ideas, comments, discussions that we think about together. Like, this is just, like, this is always just so amazing. It warms my heart. It makes me so happy. And you can never, yeah, guys, like, I'm not doing it. You also don't have to hold back and just tell me everything you are, like, thinking about. Of course, as long as it's spoiler-free, until the part we are right, uh, like, until this part of the game, you can always, like, you know, start some, you know, start to talk with me about some things that occur and I would yeah I, I'm always like appreciative of that because I'm just learning a lot like I've learned so much throughout the last couple of days when I was um, when I was going through my comments from you from you and um, I'm just like I'm so stunned by the information I have gotten like I'm so amazed with it I'm so excited like once the point in the game comes again then like um, um, for example, like the love hotel scene, I will definitely go into this uh, into the event more because I kind of really misinterpreted the meaning and um, our you know our role in the freaking uh, in this event, which is why I'm kind of you know I've kind I've kind of acted a little bit uh, you know I was kind of a little bit stunned and uh, shocked and whatever like during the like whatever like happened in that uh, event with, uh, with the guys and everything I was like god damn these guys are like assertive and everything but there is a reason for it and I will go definitely more into it as well and um, so far but I wanted to tell you at least thank you again just so much for this wonderful support of you all I appreciate that so much like you can't you don't know how much i appreciate but i can't really put it into words i can only say thank you to all to you all and thank you thank you thank you guys just keep it up guys you're amazing and i will do my best too like it's always so nice to see you guys say to me it is okay to talk about my thoughts about my feelings to you all during this play for because that's what you really enjoy about it as well and i will keep it up for this coming for this now new year i will definitely do my best as well so, without any further ado, guys, let us continue on because we have probably a lot of things to search in this place. And let me just talk to those guys again, just in case. Uh, what on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? 
All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen. Gonta never gonna become gentlemen. Aww. No, it's okay, Gonta. I really like that they both have such a nice, you know, relationship with each other because uh, Tsumugi is always, in general, pretty nice, you know, uh, stating her opinions, her thoughts that are pretty on a pretty common ground and I really like that about her like she just does and says things that are so appropriate in the moment like in actuality because this is like things that usually other people like in general would do but because most of the guys here are not you know your typical people she is really outstanding with this uh, character trait that she has there so I really like that about her especially like in this last chapter she grew a lot on me as well as gone to hear his soft heart and where he just got to freaking use my kokichi god damn it i can't believe it i mean of course at some point i expected it to happen because it's just because it was hinting on because of his nature that he could get is used so easily but i'm so proud of i'm so proud of him that he's you know that he has come so far with us and i really wish he will survive this but he always has like he already has so many red flags i can't like god damn it, Gonta. You have to you have to live, my boy. I really wanna spend time with you. I already have like a certain amount of people in mind that I will spend time with, but we will see how it will turn out. Yeah. Oh god, I thought I saw something, but it was just the freaking stain on the wall. God damn it. This place is freaking me out. Let's just look at this corridor first. A left room. Oh god, I can go in there. Uh, oh. What the fuck is this? I just saw Monosuke. What the fuck? I just saw Monosuke. I'm sure I did. Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. Hmm. Yo, guys, this is scary as hell. I think I just saw a ghost. Like, what the hell? This is creepy. Hard to see, too. I, I swear to goodness, like, you saw it as well, didn't you? I just saw Monosuke, like, in a ghostly form. I can't just be imagining that, right? Guys, tell me I'm not going crazy. It seems like something that would appear in a cult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. Oh, Oh, so maybe it's, like, a memorial for him? It really does feel like something is going to pop at you. Pop out at you. Oh, God. Oh my god, this place is freaky. Monitors? It's a monitor for communicating with us. There's nothing on the screen. But just making it seeing it makes me feel sick. Yeah. Still have no clue. Like, I, I told you guys my. Oh, the floor? The lit candle? Wow, we really can't explore much about in this room, right? Oh wow. <laughs> oh god, this is looking all too ominous for me. Really straight up of a freaking, you know, Silent Hill movie or something like that. And um, I've talked about it with you on the last part, but I think really there's something more to the insects that Gonta is seeing in connection to the monitors and the place that we are in. Like, like Sumuki explained, there is a lot of, you know, a lot of adventures, um, you know, that give us, like, that, make, that makes us uh, feel like we um, having more... I think it's the right thing to say, like, it's very, an, you know, a helpful thing that we can, you know, explore and research our own talents, that we have supplies and clothes here, yeah, clothes here, and um, seeing what was going on in the world and the position that we had, and I think we discussed it in the early, in the very early part in the prologue, that, you know, Ultimates had some privileges and they were seen as higher, you know, as a higher status people and stuff like that. I the way they talked like in the beginning of a freaking of a second chapter of a thing about Kaeda's um oh god about Kaeda's funeral and still no idea what that is all about but um something is it's just something seems so strange. Like something like it seems like this academy was built to help us but now it like turned into this killing game. But the thing is a about it, that the monocups seem to like Monodam always talks about like getting along, like even like you know even oh um god damn it 
Please wait a minute, guys. Alright, guys, I think I'm right back in the game. Um, let me just click. Yeah, alright. Let me just go then straight a little bit faster through this room. I didn't thought this would occur again. God damn it, Monokuma. Oh, it's destroying my insight. <laughs> like, I was, I was about to tell you some things, and of course the game doesn't want to. Alright, I think it's just the room, hopefully. The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Huh? There's no windows here. It gets pitch black if candles go out. Oh, God. Right? Oh, please don't put them out. I don't ever do really like the dark. Well, I can't imagine many people do. Oh, uh, yeah. The dark is not too bad, but if you really can't see anything, it's really creepy. The candles are us of the only light in the room. Okay, so I guess it will be really dark if something will go out. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, don't say that. Oh, oh, this floorboard got no nails in it. Um, huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But, but each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Got to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. Uh, this is sounding pretty, you know, concerning. Right, but it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Uh, uh what? Ah, uh, in the corner there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Um, I don't see it. Where? Oh. Oh God. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just an empty room. Oh. Oh, this is not only empty room. You see three same-looking doors in the hall, right? And those, all those room, rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. Hmm. Ah, so they are three of them. Anyway, we no got to worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. This is really freaking me out. Um, true. When can we leave soon? The darkness and the sneaky floor. Uh, shaky floor. The sneaky floor, of course. The shaky floor are making me nervous. But it's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and the newspaper gets blown in. Oh, what? Oh, no! It's a freaking it's reference! Oh, no, I think it is. Well. I, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> but there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Alright, let's see first. Anything else? I don't think so. Alright, I think that's all. Yep. Alright, let's get the feck out of here. <laughs> yeah! I don't want to stay here because I'm afraid that something might happen. Let me just know save because I have a feeling maybe the game doesn't want me to play this unless I save it right. Alright. Alright, let's save over here. Alrighties. Yeah, look at that, guys. We're in 2018. <laughs> Alright. This is amazing. Okay, let's just continue on then. This is freaking me out a little bit. Just a bit. The central room. Wait, did I not did I not enter this room? Look at that guys, just in this yeah, you know, you see Manoska there. Like it's his room. But it doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. Like uh Tsumugi and Gonza aren't here with me anymore, so Oh, this is making me uneasy. Let's go back. I have such a weird feeling that this room will get involved in the next incident. And you know what makes me even more nervous, guys? You mentioned that um, even, uh, you know, that multiple things may occur. Like, um, what, what am I saying? Like, that the incident that, is about, that it might happen in this chapter uh, could involve multiple people dying. Especially because there is no, you know, limitation to how many people you can kill. And I'm very concerned about this, like seriously. Like, I'm sure that as you guys told me, there won't be, like, no one will kill everyone, but I really don't want more than, you know, two people is bad. I don't like that one person will die, but we all know it will happen. But as, thing, and as far as everything, like, as the other games go, in the third chapter, always, like, more than one person dies. And if we, if the game is 
that you know is that cruel to make even three people die i will definitely rip my face off like just saying because i really didn't spend all that time like not enough time with everyone yet so and i really don't want anyone else really to go or at least i never wanted anyone to go you know to die so i really hope it won't happen i really hope at least i don't really want anyone to die what the hell like, this is just... Uh... Alright, let's see. Center room. Oh, I just clicked on the map. <laughs> uh, oh, Monokuma? What the hell? I, I see. This is exactly like the other room. Yeah. I'm all alone here, Bo. Let's see. What is the floor about? Oh, God. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. I can see a gap in the corner. I should be careful. Oh man. So there's a gap there, huh? Let me see again. Oh yeah, there is. Oh god. Oh god, I have a feeling that these these rooms will get involved with the next Oh what the fuck is that? I can't see. It says something, I know it says. Uh no, no 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 no, I don't wanna go. God damn it. I saw there's something. God damn it. I don't know what it says though. You see this? I don't know what it says, but it says something. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> the candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Something about it looks like pyramid pyramid something. Silent Hill reference. <laughs> pyramid head. I don't know. Okay. So the candles only are li literally the only thing that is lightening up this place. Something about these? Nope. All right. Well, oh, wait a second. I think I saw something. This? No. No. Okay. No. It's just the floor. All right. Then let's get the hell out of here. I'm a huge horror fan myself, but in Dangaropa. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. I, I just. I already forgot that I can pick out, you know, that I can pull out the map like this. God damn it. Alright. Well, this looks ominous. It looks like a painting, but I can't really go through. I wonder if it's like a reference to something. It looks like a reference to some game. Oh man, I really can't tell though. God damn it. I have a feeling maybe I know this game, but I'm not sure. It definitely feels like a reference. Let me just save again, because I'm getting paranoid. You know me. The game does things like that. It's all about the paranoid thing thinking. Alright. Alright guys, let's continue on. So we have the center, the right room, and nothing else. Alright, I think that's alright. Yeah, okay, these are only, only three. Looks like there are actually four, but I think there's nothing here, right? Nope, there's just this empty wall thing. It's kind of weird, like there was something here before. Like there could be something here, but it's not. Huh. Alright. Well, let me go straight into this. The last room of this, at least this part. Uh oh, there's Monokit. Alright. Wow, but... Oh, I think the the Monokuma one was from this uh, from the mo one Monokuma that uh, that got killed in the very beginning of the you know of the first chapter. Maybe this is the Monokuma from back then. I'm not sure, but this is like my like this is what what I think it is. So let's see. Ah, I see. This is exactly like the other room. Yeah, is there really no difference? You know, see, there is no you know writing on this thing. Hmm. No, this candle is out. The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Okay, there's nothing about the monitor, I think. Yep. Yep. Alright. Alright. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. Oh, there's another gap there. Why is there always a gap in the same position as in the other rooms? The rooms are very similar, but there is some slight difference to them. 
but only very, you know, very small differences. I wonder how it will connect like to the um, to the next. I just like noticed that my monocoins are, you know, shown up there um, in the very uh, in the top right corner. God damn it! <laughs> kind of lost my rope there. I'm like now thinking. I bet I I just bet there's something about these rooms later on um, for the for the next incident, and I don't like it, especially because this room just reeks of you know of horror, death, and bad things actually. So anything else, guys? <laughs> no. Oh, it's okay, Gonta. It's okay. Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Now, this academy looks like it was made with a good purpose for us. Maybe because of whatever was going on in the freaking world. Like some freaking apocalypse happening. But the other thing, like why are we getting now in this, you know, in this killing game? Like what is the purpose of for that? Because Monokuma once said in the class trial, I think in the last one, right? That we are the only ones left. Like what? And in the one, um, in this one, look at this. Looks like a door. My God, so many mysteries. Oh no, it's just a design. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, okay. Don't mind me, guys. But yeah, like Monokuma said, that we have only one slept, and if that's the case, then why would they want to kill us off? You know, just to make us, you know, the humankind go extinct, and. Uh, about the thing of uh, freaking um, about what Shuichi saw before, like like how he had this memory of him thinking or saying, "I don't want to live anymore. I want to die with everyone else." Does he refer to the other people on the world? Does does it mean that maybe they don't want to live? Like in actuality, they all don't want to live in this empty world by themselves. I mean, it is kind of sad, but um, you have to consider that you are not completely alone. I mean, I think if you were completely alone, then that will definitely make you want to die. You know what I mean? And um, I'm not sure if we are really the only ones, because it seems like some of our people survived as well. Like considering in the the event that happened right after, the, in, right in the beginning of the second chapter. I mean. Because some people really attended Kaeta's funeral, but I don't understand as well. Like, what is going on? I wonder what the flashback light will reveal us in this chapter. I just, I have like no idea what's going on, but let's just go in here and think of. Oh, what? This must be it to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab it is. Oh, I have a feeling I know whose lab this is, considering the floor and the music and everything. I should look inside. Oh god, it's gonna be full of ropes. Oh Kyo, why did you destroy me so much? Ah, oh, oh. Wow, this is cool. It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. Yeah. Wow. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. <laughs> oh man, he's really delighted. Oh, oh, Kyo. Oh, why did you do this to me? Like we, um, like I um saw in your comments that you explained to me how Kyo is really represented, considering everything. Oh my God! Please wait a minute, guys. Alright guys, I'm right back because, um, I don't know, like, maybe it's because of this floor, but because maybe I'm talking on this floor a little bit, because maybe the game wants me to progress further. Let me just click on this. Wonderful. Alright, let me just see a moment, like, what did Kyo just said. I think I will continue my discussion to you when I will leave this place. Um, because... It would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist's lab. Oh. <laughs> He's so delighted about it. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. Aww. But who brought all this stuff here? 
I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Uh. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I understand that. Let me just now save. Just in case, because I'm very paranoid now. Because it seems like every room in this floor is giving me off this, you know, this don't even try to play the game. <laughs> in that sense, like, I don't know why is it happening. Like, sometimes it's happening not at all. And then it suddenly happens, like, on, you know, like, all the time. I'm not sure. Let's see. Alright, this is all the fit. I can't... Oh man, I can't even explore everything. Oh, dog statue. Very fitting that it's the, the year of the dog now. <laughs> There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks very pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? Oh man. Oh. Kia, what is this? That's... Incredible. Oh my god, he's so happy. Oh my gee. Oh gee. Oh, can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo quivered, quivering with excitement, reached out to the peculiar dog statue. Oh god. And slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Okay. Oh, can this be? Oh my god, oh my god, Kia is looking insanely, like, so excited. Like, Jesus Christ, this excitement is not going overboard, bro. Kia, calm down, breathe. <laughs> oh, there, there's even a cage. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, um... Uh, perfect? For what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> oh my god, like, Kia is reaching next level creepiness right now. I don't like it. God damn it. <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Oh, the beauty, the grace, guys. Oh, it's so amazing, Shuichi. Can't you understand? Today is a momentous day indeed. Oh, man. He's so focused, but he's not even listening. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? God damn. He is. Oh, my God. He's so excited. Exhibit case. Let's see. Damn, there's so many things here. There's something in this case. Oh, it looks like a katana. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rusted in place, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Oh, don't tell me it's the next weapon or something. <laughs> Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> You are drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well. That's sad, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars or worshipped as gods. What? Used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as katanas are worshipped as gods? Did I understand this right? It is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, this, what the fucking hell, Kokichi? What is like? I was like, wow, this is a kind of you know childish laugher, Cookie Kyo. But when I read it, it was freaking Kokichi, goddammit. What the hell is going on? Whoa, that's a super red katana. I want to take a look-see. Oh my god, of course he suddenly came up. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Uh, I think you made will make you pretty mad with that. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't know if I should believe you with that. Uh, would I lie to you? Oh no, he won't be that careful. You little goddammit kid. Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and un unshafted the sword. Hmm. Oh man. Now this katana is a real deal. It's even gold plated for its authentic look. Yeah. Hmm. 
Huh, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Oh, I'm already thinking the same way you do. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, don't say that. Hold on. God damn it. Stop triggering us, Kokichi. You're chinking you're jinxing us. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly. Or I'll tear out your nerves. Oh, oh shit! I think he is meaning this, Kokichi, but please. Oh, Jesus. Please don't. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I get it. Please don't make such a scary threat. Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Hold me, Kokichi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have learned quite a bit about Q and Kokichi, and I will definitely go into that as soon as I can. So, let's see first. Kokichi slipped the sword back into its chef and handed it back to Kyu. <laughs> oh, don't make me cry. Oh my god, I just wanted to make a good time with you guys. Whoa! Ew, my hands are all sticky. With gold plating flakes off with gold plating flakes off so easily. Oh man, I'm so glittery now. <laughs> That's actually a little bit funny. I know that it happened to me when I was a kid a lot of times with different, you know, with different um um toys <laughs> but I guess it's what it makes an authentic katana oh dear uh, do you want to do you, do you want a handkerchief Kokichi uh, yeah please yes it is very old so the gold leaf comes off easily don't you understand the value in any event please do not touch things without permission these are all precious relics or I will definitely tear out your hat and your <laughs> the head, oh my god, the head. Oh man. I will definitely rip your eyes out. Tear out your nerves. Oh! If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. <laughs> oh man. I will consider this as a real threat. Please don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel a little bit bad for him because, you know, he doesn't mean it always with ill intent. He just was curious, I guess. I, I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. <laughs> so that's what Kyu sounds like when he gets angry. Um, yeah. Let's not make him angry, please. Please. Well, no, he's here too, I guess. <laughs> wow, I'm always coming up to you whenever you go, Shuichi. Isn't that just great? Oh, man, I can't believe he's here now. Where were you hiding, Kokichi? I thought you weren't even with us. I didn't even saw him anywhere downstairs. It's interesting that she just appears out of nowhere. There's a book in the display. Case. Uh -huh. The bookcase the bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Oh my god, he will he will He's going to get so such a hard on on everything in this freaking room. God damn it. Oh and there goes my phone. You know, guys, there's no part without any phone calls, as far as we know, right? Ah, oh, stupid phone calls. <laughs> Can it truly be? <laughs> yeah, I think even Kokichi is like, oh, what the hell, man? What is what is wrong with you? <laughs> Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyu shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. Expression. Oh my God, what is happening? What is going on, Kyu? With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Oh, oh. I know that he really likes anthropology, but I didn't know he was that into it. It's interesting. Incredible. Oh my god, I think this is his really aroused expression. Oh, man. Wow, he always looks so... No, when he looks like this, he really reminds me of Nagito whenever he talked about hope. You know what I mean? In his case, it's just anthropology, but still. <laughs> It is amazing. It's actually real. Oh my god. Um, what is that? That book, you? Oh my god. What did I just look? Uh, can this be? Oh, oh no. Kia, what is going on with you right now? Oh god. And thought he would be that around, <laughs> that freaking, you know, excited about his freaking lap. It is an extremely precious document. Oh shit. You calm down. Do you understand? Calm down. Calm your biscuits. 
This book is the history of a fabled cage, Dark Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. Oh. Oh, is this about the statue that, uh, that we just, you know, looked at over there? The cage, Dark Village? Yes. The cage, Dark Village, had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. Oh. The whole village to this, huh? The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in the bitter grudge. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Hmm. One-of-a-kind? That is valuable. Wow, that's kind of cool. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. Wow, okay. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... Uh, Q, what did you mean by reputation? Yeah, I was like thinking about it as well, like, what did you mean by that exactly? Is it because of the dark, you know, background? What is it about? A rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. Okay. However... I surprise the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. Okay, and what does that mean? And that's why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire cage dark village. Oh, okay. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. Oh, okay. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permits every letter. Oh, it's kind of, you know, very dark. This is just getting weird. I think I just, I think I should just end the conversation. <laughs> Let's just get out of here, please. Wow. I feel as though the only thing I've learned in, is that I've learned. <laughs> what? I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voice of the dead? <laughs> what? Huh? The what? What the fuck? Do you understand? The cage dark village documents contain many dark arts. Wow, this is a very dark music as well for this, you know, for this situation. The cage dark village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Let me just, let me just save my game cue because you're making me... Very much afraid about the situation. I don't like this, Shuichi. This is getting kind of, you know, kind of freaky. I know what you mean, Kokichi. It is kind of scary. But it is quite interesting. Something like a Ouija bread? A uh, Ouija board, I'm sorry. I just said it in my language. <laughs> oh, is that something like that? The cage dark village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Did I just save? I, I actually don't remember, but I think I did. <laughs> out of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. The Cage Child? Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. Oh, this is getting a little bit very creepy. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the cage child, shall we? Uh, I don't know if it's such a safe idea, Kyo. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's just like, no. <laughs> Hell no. No, I refuse. <laughs> Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult, and I really appreciate my life as it is. Mm. No, no, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. It is real, Shuichi. <laughs> um... Some matters you refer to as the occult are the most imp of 
are of the most um, utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures. Yes. Oh, he's playing no mind games with me. Wow, Kyo is like really. He doesn't accept me just, you know, refusing the situation. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kyo, I said no, and that means no, okay? Don't try to force me into things. Just. This is just one thing I say right now concerning what I've learned about him. Or at least what got explained to me about him, you know? I will go into this more after this event or this, you know, this situation right now. But this is not what he's doing. He's trying, like, you know, to make us do it because of his reasoning. God damn. Q, what's going on? No. Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the dead is, uh. Say. Oh, wow, Kia is really, you know, really talking into us. Shukukichi, can you do anything? Uh, no, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to speak with a dead? Uh, huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Kyo. Kyo is freaking playing us right now. He's playing with, you know, with our, with our, oh my god, he's really playing with our, you know, with our scars. Especially since we are, you know, still pretty fresh wounds, you know, from the first and the second chapter now. What the hell, Kyo? What are you doing? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more. Oh, no. 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 No, I decline. Aww. Oh, baby, it's okay. I really don't like it when he's so sad. I really want to give him a hug. Why is no one willing to give Shuichi a hug? Come on. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. Aww. I'm not confident enough yet, Kyo. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. Aww. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Yeah, you can't really refute me on this, Kyo. Please. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would be only would only be a blasphemy. That's right as well. You, ha you have to respect the dead as well. Forgive me, I lost myself. Oh, it's oh, okay. Good. So he really, yeah. Like sometimes, like like maybe Q. Wait, let me just talk about it in a second. But this is really nice what he said. That you know, one must call on them only at the appropriate time. That's right. Please don't look at me like that anymore, Q. Please. I felt a shiver up my spine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it was just me. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Kokichi. Interesting, but he just, you know, appeared. The watch of hallway, okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to go out. God damn it. Kokichi, you better not. You better not go to get out of there. <laughs> nope, I'm gone already. <laughs> Alright, let me just save, because that was quite a, quite some things that we did. Wow, but I really wanted to learn more about the ritual, but without doing it, please. He really isn't one to explain much, isn't he? He's more like, let's, let's just do it. No! No! Kokichi! No! No, I can't. No way. Did I really just... God damn it, wait a second. Did I already oversave? Like, let me... Wait a minute. No, I overrided it already, didn't I? God damn it. No, did... Will he come back? No, wait a minute, guys. Um... Wait just a minute, guys. Yes, I would like to leave. This is this. Oh, I can't believe it. I really wanted to speak with him. God, I didn't thought he would just leave. All right, let me just now do some parts again. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Um, 
really can't do anything about her. I think this was the part. Ah, oh, man. I will just do it very quickly. Sorry about that, guys, but... Ah, oh, man. <laughs> All right. Let's just go through this very quickly. I need to investigate more! Alright. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to skip all of that, but I have to. God damn it. Can't believe that. I think I did everything, right? Yes. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, did I, did I even talk to them? I think I did, right? Wait, did I even talk to them? Oh my god, I don't even know if I talked to them yet. Oh my god. Wow, okay. I don't even know if I talked to those guys in the room before. Let me just... Oh, god damn it. Oh, guys, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with this? What did I do? Uh, I think I've just explored for a place and just left. I don't know if I actually talked to them in the room. Ah, oh, man. I'm very sorry about this, guys. Let me just now explore the whole place and when I will talk to them again. Yes, okay, good. Alright. Well, let me just... Uh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, let's talk to them now, because I don't know if I talked to them. Um, even though I said all that, it seems like... Oh, I think I... Oh. Oh. Sorry. Okay, no, let me say it. I didn't, I didn't talk to them. God damn it. Um, I'm good that I... Good that I did it again. Even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This is like one of about. Oh, this feels like one of those old abandoned asylums full of lunatics or criminals. Oh yeah, it really does. Good what she's saying, man, because that's how it really seems like. To the point where I don't expect to see a corpse burst through a wall and chase us. Oh shit. Oh, I hope not. Sorry. Sorry, that's not something to joke about. No, it's okay, Tsumugi. It's okay. Oh man. Nothing here. What is room for anyway? I wonder, Gonta. I think that's all right. Um. Okay. No, that's all. All right. Now I can definitely leave this place. All right, jeez. All right. I think that's all about this room. Yeah, this is no Monokuma. I think this is about this one time. Like, look at this. This room like has this weird writing that I can't look at. I'm clicking on it, but it's not doing anything. God damn it. Candlelines. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's do it fast and quickly. Very sorry, guys, but I didn't expect like to just accidentally walk out. I think you, I thought you would say, oh, I still have to investigate this place more. But no, he just said, nope. And went out like a freaking little goofer that he is. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. God damn it. What is going on? Ah. Alright. I think now I at least investigated this place thoroughly. Alright. Now let's go back to freaking Q's lab. Yay. All right. Let me know. Let me save now. On uh, on this, you know, like right here. <laughs> oh man! I think we will just skip it um, until the point where before I freaking talk to the freaking, you know, to the freaking uh, door. All right. All right, let's talk to this thing first. Oh my god, Kyo. <laughs> All right. Dark statue. 
Okay, <laughs> Kira is so excited about this all. Okay. Alright, let's talk to this thing now. Come on, pop out, Kokichi. Whoa, and here I am. Yeah, back again in this. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck is going on with you? Alright, and then we have this whole thing. Alright. Alright, good. Now, I will definitely spend some time with you now, Kogechi. God damn it, you made me play this whole thing again. Oh, right, now talk to me, girl. <laughs> I mean, Trichi. Oh, wait, what did I just say? I mean, what? Nyehehe, <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Q get so mad, huh? It's so interesting. He's scary when he's mad. If he tore out my nerves, I think I might cry. Like, seriously cry. Is that all? Is that all you... No way! <laughs> I made you play all the thing again just because of this. Oh, I think I might cry. <laughs> well, he really doesn't take it too seriously, but I bet in actuality he maybe. Uh, I think he is a little bit like, you know, freaked out. I mean, who wouldn't be? Because he made him seriously angry, so. Yeah. What do you say, Kyo? Yes. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would be only a blasphemy. One must call them only at appropriate time. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's going on, Kyo? Yes. Yeah, I will definitely talk about those two again. <laughs> okay. Anything else before I... Okay, I search some things here. Oh, what is this? The bookshelf. This, this, it's packed with books and scrolls. They're all withered and old. That's true. I don't think I could reach all of these if I had a million years. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's something. Oh, wow. That's all? There's nothing else? Water will be more true. Ah, I can't really click on them very good. They're wearing an old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. Okay. Alright. There's something else about the dog. Did I talk to the dog yet? And the dog pretty old. Shh. I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Q seems pretty focused. Yeah. Alright. Anything else about the katana? There's something in this case. Do you understand? This katana has immense anthropological value. That's why I would prefer it to be treated with respect if something does happen to it. Tear out your nerves. Uh, don't say it again, please. So that's what Q sounds like when he gets angry. Yeah, I would not like it if he did that to us. There's a book in the display case. Bookcase of all of books. Okay, special books, huh? <laughs> now imagine I'd find it here. Ah. The book is a history of fabled cage dark village, said to have been destroyed long ago. However, I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate! What does with the sound effects right now? God damn, Kyo. You have all the right things right up your sleeves, didn't D don't you? <laughs> I can feel power seeping out from this book. Uh, this is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. Whoa, this dude is even weirder than I am. How did you even how did you even survive until this point with us, Shirichi? I don't know. It's a monitor and it makes me feel sick. Alright, oh, anything else I can smash? <laughs> if I smash this thing, he will definitely kill me. What are you doing to my lap, Shurichi? Did you, do you want to die? That's fast. Oh, wow. This, wow, this place is humongous. Look at all that. Wow, compared to anyone else's lap, he definitely has quite a space here. God damn it. Anything else? <laughs> no, nothing. You've just wasted all your time. <laughs> you're such a cute little nugget when you're so despairing. Uh, shut up, Kokichi. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's all. I think I spent more than enough time with you here, Kyo. This is 
There's a back door there. Oh, and I can go out of here. Oh, right, so... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rear. Oh, so there are like two... Oh, God, there are two entrances. Uh, that has to mean something, I guess. I mean, what else would there be? Like, two entrances, right? Oh, boy. I guess we came from the rear entrance, then. It's interesting though that Kokichi then disappears, you know, from the scene. Like, where does he go? Where did you go, Kokichi? <laughs> Whoa, I just, I just went off my way. <laughs> And like everyone, like I would want to stay in a room with that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so, and that's the other door, I guess. Yep, it definitely is. All right. Well, did I explore this part here thoroughly? Yes, I think I did. Why did you, Why did you guys not come in with me? Aren't you? We Gonta is scared of Kyo. Kyo is making scary face and threats. If I Gonta touch anything, <laughs> I know, but <laughs> why don't we leave the rest to you, Shuichi? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate that a lot. Come back inside, Shuichi. I think I found a bundle of ropes. Oh no! Oh, this is scary. Wow, I expected to find Kyo's lab here. The, you know, the empty rooms are pretty freaky because they just seem to be these, uh, these rooms of, um, you know, these rooms that are just, you know, are here to make you feel creep creeped out and have this... Oh, what is this? Wow. It's interesting. It looks like eyes and something like, I don't know, it looks like some type of horse. Monster demon thing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. It looks like some abstract art. Uh, hi there, guys. Oh, this is just great. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, hanging scroll. Yeah, this looks like a. F oh my god, what is going on here? These guys don't have. Oh, this reminds me of my other playthrough that I had with Cantera. Oh god. <laughs> the incident with him was just so messed up as well. Wow, this is really... Oh, wow. Hmm. I really have to applaud the effects and the special, you know, the imagery, the graphics and all are so clean with this game. God damn. I have to really appreciate that. They're holding something. Like some... I think some scroll. Oh shit, I leveled up. <laughs> looks like a freaking... Oh man, what are these things? Like, this looks like the gate... I think this is like a representation of the gates to dead, to the realm of dead, I think. At least that's what I think. Let's see, what is this? What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. I have no idea. I think it may have something to do with something, you know. Of someone else's lab? I don't know which one though. I have no idea what is going on here. Oh, I see. I see someone's lab and I think I know who this is from the map. Uh, wow. Oh my god, to think that her lab would be on this. Oh, they, they have also like two entrances. The monitor of communicating with us. I hope it stays off. Oh, something... Oh, it's, it, he said something different now. It's usually for when something bad happens. I hope it stays off. Oh, I really hope so too, but I have a bad feeling that it won't be that easy. I was thinking that this place is very creepy and kind of, you know, artistic, but I don't thought it would be Angie's room. I thought her room would be a little bit more, you know, bright. Like, the door seems nice, but the way towards her room is kind of, you know, freaking me out. Oh well, I wonder what crazy things we will see in her lab. I hope nothing of a tour, but I... Well, let's just, I think, wishful thinking. Alright, let's go straight in there, guys. Oh boy. It's the ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Uh, what? 
Hmm. Huh? It's locked. What the hell? Uh, uh, what the fuck? How boring. What? Why are you with me, Kokichi? Well, it seems so. Kokichi is really on my tail, isn't he? He's like always around us. <laughs> yep, it seems like it. I guess we can't go in. Ah, oh, that's kind of boring. Hmm. But why is it locked? The, ultim the other ultimate labs weren't locked. Uh, I think Hiatus was locked until the point where sh it was finished. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rare entrance at the end of the hallway. Just in case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Oh, oh I see. I thought it would uh, not be locked. Um... If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? Maybe maybe we won't get inside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, cause I have a secret check new. Uh what? Uh Kukichi, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> you, you don't say. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. What? And the door slowly opened. Yeah. Oh, Angie? Yaha! Yaha! Can I help you? Uh, Angie? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey! Oh my goodness, I feel weird chat. I feel- I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? This is getting kind of uncomfortable. Oh man, oh. Wow, this is interesting. Oh, well, let me turn on the light, because it's getting dark again, but um... This is interesting because it seems like even though I don't see him around, but it seems like Kokichi is very, you know, close to Shuichi so far. Like he's. He didn't do that the last time uh, we investigated. It seems like now he's like. Uh, after, event, after the events that recently occurred, he's now getting, you know. He's starting to get a little bit closer to us. Or at least he's uh, started to, you know. It's so hard to explain because um, even though, like you guys mentioned, um, he doesn't seem because of, the, of your course of a killing game, he is not willing to cooperate, you know, intentionally and trust someone. He doesn't want it, and he uh, said that before too when we were talking to him. Like I'm, I'm not. He's not fond of anyone like to trust anyone, especially not friends or strangers. Like they are not his his type of jam in this place, but. It seems like he's like opening up a little bit more to Shuichi. Definitely, like um, you've you've said that he probably has a soft spot for him. And just from the recent events that occurred, I I can definitely see that because Shuichi, with his ultimate detective, um, you know, talent, is one that thinks quite similar to him and his you know logical ways to go. And as well as um, that he, with his deduction skills, is able to comprehend uh, Kokichi a lot more than anyone else can. Because Shuichi is thinking quite a lot of times, like, thinking more about uh, Kokichi's words, what they actually could mean, and the way he states things. Like, he's not just, you know, he's not just brushing him off or ignoring him completely. But, um... In my opinion, it happened a lot in the second game with uh, with Nagito. Like Hachimi brushed him off many times and didn't really get into the conversation with him like everyone else did. Like no one really was willing to, you know, get into get behind Nagito. I mean, of course, he did some awful things in the very first chapter already, like trying to kill someone. Of course, how can you trust someone like that? But to literally brush the person off is something that. You shouldn't do especially when they have this you know this weird mentality going on and stuff like that you know what I mean and I'm really it's really interesting to see that Shuichi isn't doing that he is literally he is willingly trying to comprehend what a Kokichi is trying to say and he showed it like of course multiple times in the free time events as well as in um, you know in the in the hotel scene that we had with him he also said that um, Monokuma explained to us that through uh, seeing uh, in that um, in that hotel scene, the person is seeing their ideal, and Shuichi is one person who is the closest to the ideal, who was at least the closest to the ideal. Uh, uh, you know, as as the real Shuichi is the uh, was the closest 
in Kokichi's uh, fantasy. You know, Kokichi saw her more as a real Shuichi than anyone else did. That's what I wanted to say. And I really have to agree on that because that's kind of, you know, hit me um, kind of, you know, off guard because uh, Shuichi also like mentioned like, oh, I'm still a detective in his freaking fantasy and stuff like that. So it's interesting that really, uh, even though I think he would never go fully into this because of, uh, you know, like you've said, because of the situation, but um, Kukichi is definitely has a huge interest on Shuichi, I can see this. And to see that he's really like walking, you know, kind of like going along with us, but more in his way, you know what I mean? He's not doing it like Kaito, like just c coming along with us. He's like, I'm gonna do it my way, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And because I can't be totally, you know, I can't be like Kaito. I mean, look at me, I'm the ultimate supreme leader, okay? He doesn't want to make it too obvious. But I feel this is what's going on right now. He's just trying to get... Uh, to be a little bit closer, maybe trying to figure out Shuichi more, like Shuichi is trying to figure him out. Like they both have some sort of interest in each other. Not maybe, com you know, not really maybe romantic, but more like an interest because of, you know, how they are like working together in that sense. Because they are kind of like working together, but differently. Not like Kaito and Shuichi, of course not, but... You know what I mean, like we still can say if we are friends or not, even after his freaking free time event. God damn it. God damn it, Kokichi. Don't worry, you can tag along with me. I, I, I didn't say I wanted to tag along with you, I'm just doing my own thing. You're, you're going along with me, alright? Yeah, sure, Kokichi. I, I will do that. Alright, but... Shuichi, like, Kokichi, I mean, is uh, doing the... Uh, He's doing a nice, you know, he's being the one who's going more like straightforward into the situations and talking about the real things. That is, um, that Shuichi himself has some problems with. Like, for example, the thing that happened in Kyu's lab that uh, Kichi was like going into, you know, touching things, maybe, maybe full well in mind that he knew that he would make you angry, but he was just doing it maybe to test it out. Like what Koki, like what Shuichi, I mean, goddamn the names, well, <laughs> like, um, what Shuichi wouldn't be able, you know, he wouldn't be able to, uh, to do that himself, like he wouldn't just go up and touch something because he was scared that Q might do something, and, uh, Kukichi basically did the part did this part for him, like to, you know, he touched his uh, relic there and uh, and made him angry. And even though it was pr probably a little bit scary, even for him, he didn't really mind it that much like Shuichi would have. And uh, the same right now with freaking Angie and the whole lab situation right now. Kokichi is always coming up and there's a situation that uh, needs more, you know, assertiveness and stuff like that which uh, Kokichi is making up for. Like he's like, you know, filling up the the, um, the traits that uh, Shuichi is still lacking, which is very interesting. <laughs> well, this is just my train of thoughts on this for now. It's just because it seems very appropriate because he popped up again, like I've said, out of nowhere and seemingly you know, we didn't really saw him anywhere in this freaking floor, but he just appeared. Like, he f <laughs> he's always been right behind us. But, let's see. I feel we're checking out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? Come on, Shuichi, follow me. Oh, pushy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is what I mean, like, uh, Kokichi kind of, like, makes up with his, you know, with his character for whatever Shuichi doesn't have to, you know, to pro progress the situation, or I mean the, you know, to, uh, to pro um, progress the story in a sense. It's very interesting. Woohoo! Come in, come in, please come in. Oh, okay. Please don't do anything weird, Angie. Ever polite, Angie invited us to the lab anyway. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, everyone wants to to look oh oh shit wow 
Their various art and carving tools make sense for the ultimate artist slab. Okay, let me just save because I'm scared. So far, every new room has given me some problems, <laughs> and I don't want it to happen again. So let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Why does this lab have locks? Oh yeah, this is the point. This is this is very interesting because I think so far no lab had locks on them. Wow. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says his classroom was probably made for me. Yeah. Huh? What does that mean? Well. Oh boy, there they are. Ever so. Leave it to me. I won't answer that. I've got my sexy people. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not the voice you have. Ah, wait a second. We said I was gonna answer that question. No, but then, is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? Oh, man. You promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I thought so. I don't care! So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt and shove it in your mouth. <laughs> you want the fuck? Oh, and readily and more or less. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, that's un unsanitary. Well, uh, I don't think one of them likes what you d doesn't like it when you don't get get along, if you know what I mean. Uh, wait, Monica, we weren't fighting. Yeah. yeah. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. So? Okay, come on guys, <laughs> let's continue this. So, what's up with the key? Actually, oh yes, I'm just a kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Right now, oh. Maybe. I see. Yeah, I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Okay. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wow, look at. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 God. Wow, well, like a porn star. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's the opposite. And then? God damn. So, any room where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key. But. Yeah. I'm surprised when one cups knew that. Yeah? Huh? Hmm. Oh boy. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools too. How did you know? Um Well. Um uh, what should I say? I'm not good at improviser. I'm not a good improviser. Uh, calm down. I'm even worse. <laughs> We know everything about you, bastards. <laughs> what? We are all friends. We, cause we want to be your friends. What? I don't like that. <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to be friends with you guys. Stop trying to get me along with you. I don't want to be friends with any of you. Maybe you should wish you but <laughs> more special friends. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty straightforward, Rekukichi. Wow, yeah, but you know, now that he says it, I'm noticing that Kokichi is more going on to Monokuma with his, you know, with his ideal, um, idealism and, you know, thoughts and stuff like that. Just because of the way Monokuma is acting, it's probably more to Kokichi's liking than the Monokups right now with her getting a long plan. Right now. Oh, Monokum doesn't like that. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? Oh, shit. I, cannot forgive that. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Oh, no, Kokichi! Yukichi, don't say that, please! Say you want to get along! Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, he's making him mad. <laughs> now? Now, Monodam, we haven't given them the key to this room, haven't we? 
Okie dokie. Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Oh, I think that will be very, in, you know, it will be very important. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You won't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Yeah. Exactly. So then Let me see that key. Adam swiped the key from one of any then lifted it to his mouth. Okay. Um, no. What are you doing? What the fuck? Ah, uh, he ate it. What the fuck? What the fuck, one of them? Ah, he swallowed it. Oh no. What the hell is going on with you, Monodam? Ah, he's sweatlining. Uh -oh. What the fuck is happening, guys? What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. What the fuck? Someone might use this key for murder. Oh, what? Monodam? Are you trying to help us? Because keys are mysteries. Wow, if something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. I want to everyone to get along. Phew. Oh my god. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. So Let's carry Monodam away for now. I'll carry him like a, like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. <laughs> So long. I can't believe it. Oh. What the hell? So, Monotem doesn't want us to murder each other anymore? Or at least, well, he never said he wanted it to. So maybe he doesn't wanted it at the very big, like since the beginning, and he just tried to get rid of the people who wanted to. In this case, like, in this sense, like especially Monokuma too, and. That's interesting, and for this, like, for this way Mon Monodam is, Kokichi doesn't like him, huh? Oh wow, Kokichi, what does that mean? What does that, what does that tell about you, my boy? So does it mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Oh my god, I'm gonna definitely kill that little bastard. Oh, oh boy. But I'm gonna lock the door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Oh yeah, okay, no, she's right. Like, as long as you're inside, you can still lock it, but as when you're outside, you can't do that. So, it really doesn't, probably, it really doesn't matter then to anyone else than her. Ah. Oh, I guess it's fine then. Uh -huh. By the way, uh, by the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? Like, what does that mean? Do they know everything about me as well? If I do that, I really want to talk to them more. Because I want to know more about you, Kokichi! No, you don't want to know more about me, God damn it, Shuichi. It's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. Wow, it's a lot less car colorful than I thought it would be because her door is so, you know, so bright and has many shining colors but in her room it's like more gray and blackish i mean i only saw like black colors there on the you know painted all around the room so does it mean the school is specially made for us but kind of onakuma has claimed that before but is that really possible i mean it is called for gifted for king juveniles so who else than us can it be for right this giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? What the hell? Yeah, like it has an actual good purpose, but the way we are, you know, that we're doing this killing game is not right, so... I have no idea what's going on. Only Atua knows for sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Wow, that's a good way to think about it. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> oh, what the fuck. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Oh, probably not. I don't want to stay here with you guys. 
Are we supposed to be okay with that? I don't want to be okay with that. I really don't want to. Like a bitch is now back again with us. Do you want to be my sidekick, Kokichi? Uh, no, I'm the supreme leader. You have to be my sidekick. But I'm already Kaito's sidekick. Well, you know what that means then. <laughs> Time to kill Kaito. No! I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Just stop it. Stop confusing me. <laughs> what are you doing to my lap, Shuichi? Oh, my god, is that again? You with your freaking destroying shit. Yes, I will never, never stop doing that. Poor Kaido. She always wanted me to do this. Did you try to hit me? <laughs> no, I tried to hit the thing behind you. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> Alright. What a Kuma dolls. Come on, where are he? Where are we? Wow, this black paint wall. Hmm. Lump of wax, huh? Anything else? Oh, nice. There's a freaking hat or something there. Oh no, it's just the freaking. All right, that's that's good enough. Okay, it is proud of me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess not all. <laughs> not all yet. Okay, now I'm finished. I finished my deeds. Well, this room looks pretty freaky. I know, right? <laughs> It's a monitor for communicating with us. There's nothing on the screen. But it's making me sick to my stomach. Alright, what is this lump of wax? What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Ah, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie. Yup, yup. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh, but I do that is the uh, one who's gonna be doing the sculpting. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. But oh, because that... she said that she's gonna be one with him or something, right? <laughs> so, okay. But it's make. But it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In the ancient times, death's mask used to be made from wax. Oh. Okay. A d wax death mask. That's kind of scary. Oh god, I didn't want to know that. Oh wow. This is a little bit freaky, don't you think so too? Yeah, it kind of is. Wax death mask is kind of scary. <laughs> Says Shreecher with a straight face. <laughs> Alright. Uh, anything else? Okay, the door. Lava door and two people here. Okay, Angie, what are you saying? Ooh. I see, I see. These are an e there's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Yeah. Wow. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. Even these are my these are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Oh. What? Uh, what the um... fuck is deep sea? Now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't. I hope. I hope he's not talking about the things I've just, you know, s smacked away. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but I did indeed see all the, you know, brushes and chisels before I, you know, sm sm smacked them away. I did see them. I would, I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. Yeah, right. I, I thought so too. I don't need references when Achua is the one who creates the art. So divine! From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Achua. Okay. It would be nice to see, I guess. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Our lives have become more enriched, and there's even less reason to leave this place. Ah, uh, Angie, I don't like your way. She talked about it before, but I don't like the way that we should just stay here. What do you think, Okichi? Ah, oh. oh, look, Shuichi, the ceiling here is pretty unique. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, these, right. these things. Ah, yeah, exposed beams. Hmm, that's a very interesting choice there. 
wonder. What do you think about Kokichi? Is it supposed to be like this? Or did they just not finish it in time? Oh, that's that's a good it's good thinking, but I don't know. Oh man. Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like the the time they mixed up the cups pads. Oh, he's talking about the mono cups. <laughs> oh, he really doesn't like them, then, is he? Well, Kakechi is pretty much against them. I noticed that now for the time, but he really doesn't like them. He's more like he really showed signs that he got along with Monokuma more than the Mono Cups. So it's interesting. Uh, I don't care. This kind of person doesn't bother me. Even that too says it's more sensitive. It, it, it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled off. Back? What? What the fuck does that mean? Angie, stop being creepy to me, okay? I don't like that. I don't like how you're turning out to be. I thought she would be more of a bubbly, funny person. She is still, but now she's just getting a lot creepier. Like Q is. Like, what the hell? Kichi, you're seeming so much more. Maybe. You're seeming so much more normal than anyone else so far. Like, what the hell, Kokichi? I know, right? I'm just seeming to become one of the best people. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't care either. If it makes life here more interesting, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> should we be fine with that? No! Let's stay here forever and ever, Shuichi. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't want to do this. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Investigate. Oh, what? What did I not investigate yet? Let me just... Ah. Did I click the wrong button? God damn it, I want to save. Oh, no, 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 for goodness sakes, no. Let me just, you know, do that for a quick second. Well, so far so good, I guess, but what else do I have to investigate around here? Oh, maybe the back, oh, the back door, maybe. Or it isn't the, isn't the one we used to come in. Um. Let's see. So many of these black colors. The same colors that she uses whenever she does, you know, sometimes the, the sprite where Angie is like holding the brush, it also has like the black color. I wonder why she isn't more into, you know, the brighter colors. I really wonder about that. This door is super crappy. I'm, I'm guessing this is her rear entrance. Oh boy. See? See, it's got a sliding lock just slapping, uh, just slapped on here. Oh, I guess. If I remember correctly. Oh right, and the door that we used. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Oh, so they don't have different locks. I see. Good thinking, very Kokichi. Good that you mentioned it. Of course I'm good. I'm the ultimate supreme leader. Of course I'm good. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. It's mildly infuriating. Yeah, it kind of is. No, 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 no it's perfect that they are not the same. Uh... Symmetry is the Western beauty ideal. I like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then... I bet I think the asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. Well, well, I guess I don't get it. I, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Wow, that's really interesting. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh boy. Are you finished here yet, Chuichi? I'm getting bored. <laughs> I'm getting really bored over here. Maybe. Yeah, let's just live here all the for all eternity. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yep. I don't like it. But, like, why are these guys so much into talking about staying here? Like, do, do they like give up on the moment? Like, it's, uh, like. Do they want to give up to escape and instead, like, you know, stay here and pretend or at least, you know, make sure that no one kills each, uh, each other this, uh, this way? I don't know. I, I don't know. I bet, I bet Kokichi is just fooling around with me doing so. 
All right. Whoa, whoa. Was it always like this here? No, this is like a back entrance, isn't it? If I go back in, it's... This still must be a rear entrance to Angie's lab. Well, Angie in the doctor's room, we can't get in. Okay, so this way we can't really... Like, no one can get inside from there, but we can go inside from here. Because we'll, uh... Because one of them, you know... Because one of them, you turn, took away the key. Yeah, look at all the paintings, but the colors are all, you know, black. I wonder why she's like only drawing with the black colors. It's really bizarre. You know, wooden stuff, everything. And you know, Kukichi's gone now too, like now he's like again, as soon as we leave, he's leaving as well and now goes off somewhere. But I think he's still, like if he's coming up again, when I walk to some place else, it definitely means that he is, you know, walking with us in a sense. Like he's he's tagging along with us. I I, I don't mind that. But it's just showing that he really has the interest in Shuichi right now, in particular after every after the recent events. Like I've said, really interesting though. All right, let's do that, guys. Okay, I think that's all on this floor. Oh. Oh yeah, the hats. Ah, this is really freaky. I don't see him also on the freaking map. Like it's like uh, Kokichi is really like and like he went up and hide uh, and and hid himself somewhere, and like the only people I see that make sense are you know Ganta and Sumugi here. Yeah. It's all like, and of course Angie and Kyu in their labs. Okay, but I know now that we have like Kyo's and Angie's labs open, so let's now go downstairs and see which other lab I can find. Okay, so back into the normal place. No one is here around us. Someone else still inside that place? Should find mysterious objects for now. Oh, okay. I really have to find the freaking flashback light as well. Oh boy. Let me just save for a second. And continue on right away, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I will make it a little bit longer this time now, too, because we literally just finished the freaking fourth floor, and I really want to get uh, to know more. I really want to know more about everything that's going on so far. So, let me just see. There's nothing around here. Oh, Ryoma! Will we ever go back into his, you know, into his ultimate lab? Oh, no. Ryoma! You had no one. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, Ryoma, no! I really wanted to hang out with him! I really do now! You found out that awful truth and gave up your life for Kurumi. But I. Ryoma, you wanted to fight with us, didn't you? Oh, was that not enough reason to live? You could have fought with us. We could have fought together. Then you could have lived. But we couldn't have been... We couldn't have been your reason to live. Oh, maybe I'm just being arrogant. Oh, no, no, Shuichi, baby, it's okay. Oh, he's as sad as me when it comes down to it. Oh, huh. Wow, this is really breaking my heart. Because Ryoma really had no one, and... Yeah, like, to make us his reason to live, maybe it really was... Maybe it, maybe it wouldn't have worked out, but it would be a new different step towards the situation. God damn it. Ryoma. Uh, I'm so sad about him. I was really, really sad. I'm still sad to think about now how she, you know, how she... Uh, oh, this thing here. Yeah, anything else? Nope, doesn't seem like that. Oh boy. I don't remember being any mysterious objects here. I look elsewhere. Okay. But yeah, Roma was just really breaking my heart by finding out the real reason he died. I mean, she could have easily maybe escaped Kirumi, or at least 
didn't get killed by her, but he openly said, you know, you can kill me and god damn, Ryoma. I wish I hung up I hung out with him. He's he was so cool too. Uh, I hope I will have something like an island mode when I can hang out with everyone. Especially with Kaeda. God, I will never never accept it. I never finished any social link with her. As Kaede or as Shirichi, I want to hang out with her again. I want to see her again, my bae. I want to see them all so much. Kurumi's final moments. I can't get the image of her running for her life out of my head. Yeah, this was... This is, well, something to remember. I can still hear her. Her scream of defiance. What the hell is going on? Wait a second. Some people are going insane over here on my phone. I'm gonna uh, just put away my phone. Perhaps running isn't so bad. Perhaps we aren't strong enough to face it. In order to live until the end. Yeah. Yeah, Karumi was... She really became one of the realest people. Despite her, you know, despite the way she killed someone, it was pretty selfish in a sense. And what she also tried to do, like playing the Kaeda card, like goddamn, and everything. Like she threw away Ryoma's, you know, Ryoma's uh, life for that and everything. Of course, she did it for a request, which I believe, but it's still breaking my heart, you know. It's not easy to accept, Kaida. Okay. Okay. Aww. God damn it. It's really breaking my heart. Aww. I really want to see Kaida though. Maybe at some point I will, you know, I will accept Kyo's request. To speak of the dead, but for now just need uh, I don't know well where are the other ones yep I only know about this one place here near the gym this one place that I still really want to figure out like what is that whole place this whole room oh wow oh yeah the ultimate position slab uh. Okay, no, this is nothing. Like this huge freaking door. Like what the hell? What, what? Oh, thought like where is it? Maybe something about this door? Yeah. It's locked. I suppose I can't get in here. God damn it, no. Like I've said, it looks like maybe something. Maybe it looks, it looks in my opinion, like Kokichi's uh, lab, but. It's interesting, but why would it be here in the open, but still not open? Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I said it a little bit confusing, but yeah. Okay, no, there's nothing here. God damn it. I wonder if we will get to find Rentaro's ultimate lab and find out what his talent is, because that's something that's still really bugging me as well. Like, what the hell, man? Like, we still never... We kind of, you know, brushed him off a little bit too fast. Like he died, we made all the you know all the records about him, and then he's just gone. Uh, let me just check the other you know the other rooms just in case. Maybe someone is inside them. Nope. What about you? Nope. Okay. <laughs> all right. Then well, let's be free to roam around a little bit more. There's a boys' bathroom. No need for me to go into a girls' bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah, probably not. Oh, uh, okay. I'm probably outside though. Oh. What the hell was that? Okay, no, it's just a thing. Oh. Uh, Alright. Maybe something downstairs. Oh, nope. Nothing in the basement. Well, I guess we will go outside then. Alright. Oh, we want to see where everyone else is. I didn't see them anywhere. Oh, there they are. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There are fewer plants than before. Ma maintenance must be progressing well. 
yeah. I knew it. God damn. It's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. Aww. Yeah, you're a cute little nugget. Hmm. Uh, really? <laughs> oh, Himiko. It's so adorable. Huh. Uh, you just made Himiko angry. <laughs> yeah, because, because I, may, I mean, it was a little bit, you know. It seems kind of you know, out of character for a moment, and I got pretty confused as well, so... God damn it. Ah, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't show this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No. What? No, I was just blushing. What? <laughs> Himiko? Himiko, do you like me? Huh? What the hell? What? From your own compliment? But oh wow. Imiko, your exp expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. Yeah. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. Oh. That's the only reason you do you, that's the only reason you don't do it. Uh, I really hope Imiko could make it. No! Where are you going, girls? Where Where are you going? Well, what is that thing? Oh, so many new things. What's going on here? Yeah, this looks a lot better now. Look at that. It looks more beautiful now. Mysterious monument. Oh, we already used that. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, let's look again. Gurumi's plan would have been perfect were it not for it in a tube. A perfect plan from the perfect mate. But, and Kurumi was asked to rebuild this country? Well, what could possibly be happening out there? What crisis awaits us? Uh, the freaking apocalypse as far as we saw. Oh boy. God damn it. Ah, oh, and never level up. Backyard. Okay. Okay, tree stumps. Alright. Where did Himiko and freaking Tenko went off to? But it's cute though that Himiko is not, you know, is not pushing Tenko away that much anymore, at least. I think because, I mean, Tenko was really nice, you know, the way she defended Himiko like as one of the only people uh, on her side, actually. Of course, we also adopted that, but let me just see. Okay. <laughs> um, like, she was the one person that, like, Kaito really trusted her, um, you know, her innocence. What the fuck is that? Sorry, but the place is changing very dramatically right now, and I don't know what it means. What are these things? What are these things? Wow. But yeah, um, like Tenko really was on her side, and I think really Himiko really, you know, appreciates it, even though she doesn't show it. And to see that, I mean, it's really hard to read Himiko as well, so I can understand why Tenko still has some trouble, you know, knowing what she may feel. I mean, I wouldn't have never guessed that she was blushing. It was kind of really, really adorable. <laughs> now when I think about it, like, this was really cute. Like, when she put her little hand on her heart and was like, Hey, I'm blushing. <laughs> oh, this was just so cute. She is really cute little nugget. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects here. Okay. Just making sure I don't miss anything. Where are, where's everyone? I know that Kokichi is, you know, lurking after me, but where's everyone else? <laughs> I don't even talk, I don't even think about Kokichi right now because I know he's somewhere around me. Somewhere near. Wow, this is look, they're looking a lot nicer. Involve those things still freak me out. God damn it. No, I think that's all for this place. Oh, okay, now the casino doesn't have anything else than the freaking hotel and stuff. Alright. Okay. Well, no one's... Uh, no! No! I wanted to go to the dorms! Arr! Let me go back to the dorms, please. 
I think Kaito really wanted to talk to Maki, didn't he? I want to see that. Kaito! No! <laughs> I don't want to leave him alone with that task. I'm still a bit worried about him. I mean, now that we know who she is, I mean, I still trust Maki in a sense because of what, like, how she showed herself in the last chapter, like, in the class trial, I mean, and, um, and I think she really, like, has a nice feeling for Kaito, too. Like, she feels, you know, the same warm, fuzzy feeling about him like Shuichi is, because of just the way he supports one with this firm and pure belief. But, um, still, it's probably a lot more complicated when Kaito can... Oh, maybe, I'm not sure, I will trust in Kaito, maybe. Let's, let's just trust him. Let's trust his uh, feelings. Yeah. Sorry, Tenko. Uh, uh. Sorry, I didn't mean to rush into you like that. Degenerate male, don't try to come closer to me. <laughs> I want to. Don't deny me, Tenko. Uh, my spirit was weak last night. I mean, I meant it when I said I was sick of the killing game. I am ashamed to even suggest that we give up and stay here forever. We're gonna escape this place without resorting to killing. We can't give up. Okay, you're right. We can't give up. I... With Himiko by my side, I'll fight to carry on Kaede and Karumi's wishes. Aww. Oh, yeah. oh, and I guess Rantara and Ryama's wishes too. Might as well. Aww. Tango. Tango, that's really good. She's like trying her best like to... um, Like, you know, in these situations, she's really considering not just the girls, but the boys as well, because it is the most appropriate thing to do. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> That's right. I should be grateful that I'm being nice and including degenerate wishes as at well at all. Yeah, I appreciate that, Tenko. I appreciate that. Really do. Listen We're up. gonna escape this place without resorting to killing. We can't give up. Kaida by my side. With Himiko, I mean Kaida. Oh, I wish I had Kaida by my side. With Himiko by my side, I'll fight to carry on Kaida and Kirumi's wishes. And the guys as well. Oh, wrong button. Himiko, where are you? You're so tiny. Like freaking Kokichi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call me? <laughs> hey, Shuichi. Oh my god. She she said it's really cute, I think. In my opinion, she said it's really adorable. Hey, Shuichi. There's something I have to tell you. What, what, something she has to tell me? What could it be? Wow. Okay. In the last trial, I admitted there was a trick to the water tank, but I didn't use it. I did the underwater escape act with magic. It was magic. Oh. It's magic. Got it? Oh, she really wants to make you, you know, happy with this belief in her magic. I love it. I mean, I'm really sure she's not delusional to think that you know, magic, Harry Potter style and stuff like that. She probably thinks it's more for the smiles, for the happiness of the people when they watch her show. And I really love it. Oh, I'm sure okay. that's it because she always like, she said it always, at least she explained it so far like that. I mean, of course I didn't hang out with her yet, so I'm not sure maybe there's another reason for it. Maybe she really is, you know, more thinking about it in a, you know, magical way, but I'm not sure Himiko is not that. She she has she has a more kind kinder heart to her. Like Maki is. Oh. Yeah. She's not gonna let that go, huh? Yeah. She's still sulky and salty about it. I... But I'm filled with regret. Huh? Regret? Huh? The shows are supposed to make people smile. It was used for the exact opposite. Oh yeah, this is the point. Like she wants to make people happy. Plus, if I hadn't used all my magic doing the underwater escape, I could have instantly killed the piranhas and saved Ryoma's body. Oh no, no, Himiko, it's okay. Oh, she's so sad. Himiko, oh, do you want to give me a... Oh, I, I better not hug you because I think Tenko will slap me. Hmm. Oh, but I want to, you know, give her a nice little pat on the head. 
Seems like as a mage, I still got a ways to go. Oh my god! Oh, Himiko, it's beautiful. It's beautiful if you keep saying that, for real, in case. I still got a ways to go. Oh, that's cute. Himiko! Seems like as a mage, I still got a ways to go. Oh, she kind of, you know, I'm not sure if she's doing it intentionally, but this is the thing that Ryoma always said. I'm so happy when she's saying it. Wow. Wow. This is cute. Wait. Oh, <gasps> you little shit. Okay, this one is not too bad. So. Well, it was not too bad to find this one. I was like, is that a freaking Monokuma head? But no, it's just a freaking monitor. Oh man. Kurumi's final moments. I can't get the image of her running off her life out of my head. Okay. Running isn't so bad, huh? Yeah, in the end, as long as you survive, that's maybe the most appropriate way to handle the situation. Like, what if he's fucking shit? Wow. Like, what are they doing here? What the hell? Okay. So there's nothing here. Hmm. Well... Objective... What the fuck? I b okay, this is something... Oh. Something probably for another thing, but... Wow. It was real coincidence that I just saw this, you know, this weird cubicle there. This thing. Oh, I bet I can use this uh, one other thing on the... Yep. The golden ham... No, the ninja scroll. Yeah! Nice! Oh, shit. Welcome. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Holy crap! Huh? A building! What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? I don't know. Wow. Holy crap. Hey, yeah, it's not just any building, it's a dojo, so it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right. Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or a train as long as he made me good food. Okay, is that really the same? <laughs> oh. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. Oh, look at them. They already are, like winter. It's so cute when Enji hangs out. Like, like I mean, oh my god, but Himiko hangs out with uh, freaking Tango. It's so adorable. It's adorable, guys. I let me save. <laughs> oh, then I guess this might be um, Tango's ultimate lab. It's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh. Well, let's see. Wow. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. This is looking kind of really wow. Welcome. Wow, this sounds really like Tinkle. Yuriko, what do you think? It's magic. This is my magic, too. Oh. No. Uh, no, I, I used an item on the statue. It's magic. It's my magic. <laughs> oh. I think her magic really has a variety of stuff, you know. Yeah, no, uh, how do you call it? Her, ma her magic not only, like, you know, is made to make people happy, but also to make us very surprised about situations. So, I guess this is a part of it as well. A part of her mindset. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> let's, just, let's just roll with it, Yumiko. I think she said the same thing in her freaking, you know, when her lap appeared. On the it's magic. And then we use this one item too. She said it as well. No. It's magic. Ah. <laughs> uh, even even Switch is like, ah. Uh, let's just roll with that. I, I, I believe in your magic. <laughs> yes, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go. Uh, Shuichi, you can decline. I'd actually prefer it since you're a degenerate and all. God damn it, Tanko, why? No, Tanko. Tanko, please accept me. <laughs> hmm. 
well, she's she seems like to be it's sometimes even less hate but more like cautiousness around you know people like males i wish so badly to know why she is thinking about them like that or what type of you know experience she had to turn like this i mean she talked about a master and that he you know that he said it to her and stuff like that but let's see this must be an ultimate research lab and from the look of a building it's the ultimate Akira Master Slap. I'm sure of it. Well, Alright, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Yeah, what a pain. <laughs> oh. Pushing a Himiko along, Tinko stepped inside the building. Oh, that's cute. That's I true. suppose I should check inside too, even though I'm not invited. <laughs> God damn it, Shuichi. Why did you come inside too? Oh. Ooh, it's looking cool. Holy gram. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Giant wooden doll, Jesus Christ. Yo, Tenko, can you do all that? Oh, oh my god, what is that? I can't even look at all this stuff. Suspended scafu? Balance pole? What the? There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie, I know, right? Wow. That's quite impressive. So the same, right? So scafu. Oh man. Wow, look at the monitor. <laughs> wow, look at the monitor. Haha. <laughs> The monitor for communicating with us. It's making me sick. <laughs> I hate communication. <laughs> Alright, what is this balance ball? Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? Uh, wow, I guess, you know, the, like the name implied, it's a balance ball. You you, you, you train your balance on, the, on those things, Trichy. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's the same. There's a scaffold spinning in the air of chains. All right. What about this thing, the mat? The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. <laughs> Let me just lie down and smell them all. <laughs> you just see Vince Richie like rolling around, and she's like, Ah, get, get down to generate males smelling all the tatami mats. <laughs> well, what is that thing? This looks in creepy as hell. Oh wow. What is this? This is a large doll made of wood. Ah, wait. I wait, is it at all? I hope. Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? It doesn't look like it wants to protect us, if you know what I mean. Shut up! Fucking Sphinx, I'm the strongest around here, man! Anything else? Monokuma dolls. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. What do you think, guys? Imiko, what do you think? Yeah, what a pain. There's no mana here. This is not my kind of place. Oh, yeah, I guess she's not really the acrobatic person. The sportly. Damn it! See, this is, this is my lap, you jerk. Uh -oh. Why are you angry? Wow. I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. Ah, uh, uh, that's a nice image. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's like what Hotenko is. That's amazing. Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparing will be incredible here. But, but without a sparing partner. Um. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing, Tango? What was that for? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't mean it like that. Ow, ow, ow. Why are you throwing me? Oh my god. Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. 
No, Himiko, aim for the heart. Well, what the fuck? You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding. Why did we go straight into actual fighting? Got it. What? You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Tenko? Oh. Wow. Okay. Huh? What? Oh, Tenko! What? What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. Wow. Wow, Tenko! You're making me actually tear up. What the hell? What the hell? You seem more confident than before, but you can tell you still question yourself. Wow. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when I, my swing partner is burned by doubt. Wow. You okay. might be right. Wow, I love it so much when she looks like that. Oh my god. Tango! Oh my god. Oh wow. Listen you know up. what works real good at lifting all the doubt? New Aikido. Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Wow. Himiko! So how about you, Himiko? Yeah. If we combine your magic with my new Aikido, then we'll be able to sell things by force. Um, you don't have to do it like that. <laughs> Even she's just like, okay. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Oh, sh... <laughs> Oh shit, take away! <laughs> I didn't find you would really pull up Himiko like that. Wow. Well, he, oh wow, I didn't. I thought you did it only to us, but I guess not. Holy crap, Tanko. <laughs> At least it's nice and comfy for mats. You know, for mats. Holy crap. I see. Mm -hmm. It seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. Oh. Wow, so Tenko basically can feel and understand people a lot better when she's sparing with them. Alright. Kokichi, get the fuck over here! <laughs> and spare with Tenko! <laughs> what, what the fuck? No! <laughs> you right. should do new Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Uh, I bet that's why she's so, you know, that's why Tenko is also that good with, you know, expressing her emotions so well. Even though they are sometimes a lot, you know, pretty overwhelming too. Now, come sweat with me, and afterward we'll head to the showers together. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my back. Oh. I feel like turning you into a gross rock with my magic right now. <laughs> Oh, now Himiko is expressing herself a little bit better. Wow. <laughs> ah, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Well, I can see it as well. <laughs> Even okay. I can see that. Yep. Wow, I, <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Wow. Ah, no, not the freaking nice smelling mattresses. <laughs> Oh. My back hurts. If you do that again, I'll definitely turn you into a gross rock. <laughs> but right now, I have to use all my magic to fix my back. Oh, oh, that's cute. Listen I'll tell you the secret of Aikido. Aikido is not about comp competing for fun to see each other's strengths and weaknesses. But by working together and using techniques that make full use of your mind, body, and breath. Oh. You can measure your physical and mental growth. That is the pure, the true pure purpose of Aikido. Oh, wow. That's, that's very admirable. I, I, you do not complete 
Uh, what? Why what? You do not compete with supe superiority in Aikido. In fact, in Aikido you do not compete at all. Wow. Aikido is not a martial art for inflicting harm, but a way to improve yourself. What do you think? Pretty amazing, right? It sounds like a good creed, but it still got thrown. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Listen up. Okay. Wow, this... But to think now too that with knowing this, that you're not doing that with a heart to, you know, to rival others in a sense of super, 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 superiority, god damn it. <laughs> but uh, more likely, you know, to strengthen, improve yourself, you know, with a, with a pure heart and go with that. And that's so cool, like that just shows that Tenko has a lot more in her because she is the ultimate Aikido master, you know what I mean? So that's really interesting. Yeah. Maybe also the... even though she always talks about, you know, hurting us and she sometimes does do it, I mean... <laughs> but in the end she doesn't really harm anyone seriously for her Aikido, even though she could do it. Because that's like not in her... you know, that's not in her way. Which I really, really appreciate. Like, what a... like, wow. It's really cool of her. Like, Tenko it was just like... She grew a lot on me, like, just through this. Holy crap. I thought in the... You know, I thought I, she already reached... You know, at some... You know, some type of capacity of her, you know, of her gentle, caring um, and kind uh, nature. But it really improved and grew a lot more now that I've seen this. This is so interesting. Wow, Tenko is really high up there, guys, just so you know as well. It sounds like a good creed. Aww, it truly does. I think that's all there is in this place. Yep. I really want to know now, who is the last person? Like, who else? Maybe, maybe our own ultimate lab? Not sure. What the fuck? Huh? What's over there? Oh, let me just save. I will not, you know, I will not, oh well, even though I could end the part right here. <laughs> Just because I'm such a mean person. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, I can, I could just end it right here, right now. But you know what, I think I will die myself if I do it, so. Uh, so let's just continue on. Okay, there's this freaking bug here flying, uh, flying around here. Probably the same bug that uh, Gonta saw through my screen. Saw it flying around here. But yeah, let's continue. What? Huh? What's that over there? Let's see. <laughs> what the? What? 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 Mew? Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. But how? What the hell? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. What the hell are you doing to my pure little sweet innocent heart Kibo there, Emil? I want to make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Uh just the tip is fine. What the fuck, Mio? I can take this relationship to the next level. Please no! Get away from my Kibo! And <laughs> you see Kukish running. I mean Shrichi! <laughs> Kukishi probably too, like running up to Mio and like, you know, like throw, like throw ourselves at her because she's trying to, to, to get closer to Kibo with this intention. No, I want to protect my cinnamon bun. God damn it! Not Mio. We shouldn't. No. Come with me. God damn it, Mio! What are you trying to do to him? It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together now. Oh my god. Pulling on Kibo's arm. Mio made her way to the ultimate adventurous lab. Uh, what uh, was that? Um, I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on. Just in case. Uh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I don't know what to feel. I really don't know what to feel about this. <laughs> I really want to do. Oh wow! Oh 
god, it's you. Mew, what are you doing to him? Oh, her. I don't know how Q identifies himself, but... Uh, don't do anything to him, please. He's my bun. Don't do anything to him! Don't don't destroy his innocence like mine got destroyed. Oh my god, Mia. I should reach next level, uh, you know, horny, horniness in her freaking in this in this last freaking chapter. God damn it! And she's already starting it off pretty nicely, as we can see. God damn it! Oh, I don't know if I should go inside yet. <laughs> no, guys, I think I will leave this for the next part, even though I know it's pretty mean. But let me save again just in case. But it's gotten it's gone on for quite a while, and I think we've learned quite a lot of things. And oh my god, Mia, what are you doing to my Kibo? What are you doing to him? Yeah. Like, what I wanted to talk about um, as well, like in the sense of Kyo, was that um, Kyo seemed to have really some issues with, you know, with uh, holding himself back when it comes down to it. I mean, we saw that he will truly almost try to force us to do this freaking, freaking ritual, but of course, Oh, thankfully, we could, uh, you know, we could make him, you know, back off and uh, explain why we don't want to do it. I mean, it was a pretty good reason too, so I think he didn't, he couldn't really say anything against that. And he also said like, oh, I couldn't, oh, I wasn't myself there for a second, I'm sorry. Like, his, um, his desire can overwhelm his own, you know, how do you call that, his reason. His reason can get easily overthrown by his desire, which makes him easily able to force himself on you. The same thing that he did in the freaking love hotel scenes, which, you know, you told me that the thing that he wanted to do was not so bad if he wouldn't have done it the way he did, like he didn't let Shuichi go when he didn't want to do it, which is an essential part of this kink that he was into. And just to see that was like making me... I was already like thinking that it can't be like that um, in actuality, so I'm glad you clarified that it wasn't. It was just Q, you know, acting inappropriate and, you know, really out of line. And we saw that as well right now. He was trying to even, you know, to, you know, intentionally, you know, manipulate us to do that thing, to force us into this situation because he really wanted to do it. And I could definitely see the scene again in front of my eyes with a freaking... Oh, level up. <laughs> I could definitely see it in front of my eyes, like the scene in the Love Hotel again, like the way he just said, you can do this and that, but I want to do it like that and this. And so, like, he didn't let you have any say in that, so... Yeah, I was kind of, I was really sad about it because through his events, like in his free time event, let me see it, like, let me look at that again. Aww, babies. <laughs> okay, enough suffering. Like through his events, expresses for humanity. Yeah. Yeah. About his mask too, I wonder like how is that even connected to him and his, you know, I wonder still what that is all about. Maybe we will learn in the main story about it. I'm sure we will at some point. I mean, I can't say, I, I can't, I can't tell, but I think he is a pretty, you know, he is a pretty boy. I don't think he needs to wear the mask, actually, so I wonder why he is doing it. Maybe because of his sister, you know, maybe he does have a condition and um, is just feeling more comfortable with that. Or maybe the sister made the mask for him, too, so maybe like that. Yeah, like you said here, she even creates this uniform for him. And he really loved, loves his sister, so... And even though, like, I thought too, maybe it's more like a sister complex. Like, when I was hanging out with him as Kaeda, he... She mentioned it. It was, you know, she said it so straightforward, but... Um, like, the way he, you know, the way he was really angry about it, because he really doesn't think like that. Like, he doesn't want it to be called like that. Makes it seem... That, that's 
not the case, but it is something. Like something about his sister is there, you know, still kind of, you know, in question because he doesn't talk too much about it. You know, here, like, in the end, for his free time event, he didn't seem that bad, you know? I felt really, you know, relieved to know that. I thought he would be very creepy in his events. I mean, he was a little bit weird and strange sometimes, but in total, he was completely alright. But then the hotel scene happened. You know, the hotel scene seemed more like some type of, you know, punishment for trying to get too close to Kyo. In the sense of, like you've explained, like, it's, you know, it's... It's, the game is kind of, you know, making fun of you having the benefit of a doubt for Kyo, and I was like, God damn it! Why Kyo? Why did you turn it around like that? I mean, Kyo kind of, you know, he tried maybe to pull us into the rope thing in his free time event, but he really backed off and Shirichi didn't really want to do it. And they then agreed to do like different things, like, you know, travel around together, you know, hang out like that. Which is very, you know, which is cool. But then the thing in the freaking hotel happened and he was completely out of it. He was filled with his desire and only his desire and he was ready to f take it that far. And I was like so surprised that he is able to do that. And to see now in his lap how, you know, how freaking excited he was about that and how he reacted to it. It really, he really felt um, as excited in a sense, like I've said there when it happened, like Komeda did in his event. I mean, not like Komeda did in his event, but in general when he talked about hope and maybe his luck as well, but more about, you know, hope and stuff like this and ultimates and their, you know, their beauty. Like, he really seems very similar in that excited sense with Komeda, but he took it to a next level, you know, after I experienced the situations with him, so I'm a little bit afraid about that, so yeah. It seems like Okichi didn't follow me into this place because of, maybe because Tenko was there and stuff like that, and she would definitely not like him around there. So maybe we will see him throughout other, you know, other situations. But yeah, these are just like my thoughts on this that I wanted to tell you guys. And that made me a little bit, you know, sad because I kind of like Kyo and his, you know, and his talent. But he's taking it to some next level crap that, uh, that is just, that I can't, you know, that I can't accept because that's too much. It's too much. There has to be some boundaries. And Q has some serious troubles to, you know, to limit himself, to, to make some, you know make these boundaries to respect them he doesn't have it that well like he has trouble with doing so so yeah this is sadly a part of him too so god damn it game like throwing me off like that of Kyo god damn it but now at least I'm having more confirmation that definitely you know Kokichi has some interest in Shuichi but I think like more like on the sense that even though Shuichi seemed to be his most <laughs> to be his most ideal person, at least so far from the fantasies that we've seen so far, he seemed to be the closest to the real Shuichi. And throughout the recent main events, like for example when the insect commuting crate happened and um, Shuichi was really onto our, onto our face too, like that was just so interesting. Maybe it was just made for reference, but it seems really... It shows that maybe Kokichi was... Interestingly enough, whenever we don't expect him to be or whenever we are not aware of it, he seemed to be the closest person to us. And um... When of course the situation right now that happened, and then during the class trial too, like he was like he was really mad, but we didn't like get a uh, you know went along with his logical ways, and we we're more on with Kaito. I could definitely see that because he was very disappointed about the thing that Switch even denied the fact that he was so that he was himself still an apprentice and shouldn't be really seen as the ultimate detective the way he is yet. And that made maybe, you know, Kokichi also, you know, very, I don't know, maybe annoyed or uh, irritated because he really sees, you know, a detective in his ideal. And to see that be Shuichi as an ultimate detective 
is not, you know, fulfilling his uh, talent the way he is. Though he shows good, you know, she, he shows the, of course, the science of his deduction skills and everything, which is making Shu, uh, Kokichi very interested in him. But of course, he's not fulfilling them yet, which is irritating to, for Kokichi. That's what I think. But maybe that's also another reason why he's now staying a little bit closer, keeping an eye on him. And interestingly enough, you know, Shuichi is kind of rolling with it because Shuichi is also, you know, considering many facts about Kokichi, bringing up some things. He is really, like, I love it that he's not, like, brushing him off, like, like just as that one weird person that we should just try to ignore or, you know, not care about, which is not right. This is, you know, especially because they are like that, you have to, you know, to you have to consider them more. But yeah. Oh my god damn it, Mio, what did you do to Kibo? But yeah, I'm just like still thinking about it, but um, yeah. Uh, Kakechi, I will keep him in mind. I will see how far he will go to show like his interest. And, and how much um, Shuichi of that can even understand and how much she can, uh, you know, deduce from that, like the way he acts and everything. So, it's interesting though, like, uh, Shuichi is like, oh well, he's now here, let's just go along with that. And he really is analyzing Kokichi's actions and whatever he is saying. Sometimes, of course, it's still too hard for him to figure out some situations, like for example, the freaking love hotel scene. Uh, it just it shows really how you know how considerate Kokichi himself is, even though he is confusing as hell. Little you know walking contradiction that he is, but he is considerate of his ideal and not pushing himself onto them, like freaking Kiyo. God damn it! Like so far, Shui, uh, Kokichi is showing more and more humane and good sides of him. Very interesting. I will I will have, I will say that. For now, but okay, guys. I think I've talked more than enough about that subject. So this is all I wanted to tell you guys from before. Yeah, yeah. This is like the new Aikido there. This was pretty nice. It's nice to hear more about Tenko, to see her situation, to see that she hangs up with Himiko and Himiko just now rolls with it. Like it's so nice. It's really, really nice. God damn it, Tenko. She's really like raising the stakes as well. I want to see more about Kaito and Maki because I didn't hear from them in a while. So let's see about that in the next part, then, guys. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part. You can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will always appreciate that too. And I'm very grateful whenever you're giving me more about your own thoughts about this. I would love to read them. Don't hold back on it. And yeah. Have a good day, guys, and we'll see you in the next part on Let's Play. Dangarumpa V3 Killing Harmony. So until then, guys, see ya.